Please welcome the celebrated host of The Breakfast Club, Charlemagne the God, and the legendary author of more than 25 iconic beloved novels, Judy Bloom. Peace, 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 peace. In case you're wondering, my name is Judy Bloom. Hello. <laughs> And I'm Charlemagne the God. That's right. Uh, we're here to talk about um, just you know things people told us we couldn't do, Miss Bloom. Yeah. Yeah. What is the, well, Miss Judy? What, uh, she don't like when I call her Miss Bloom. No, so I, I don't. Yeah. I don't. So, so what, what are some things people have told you that you couldn't do in your life? Well, the first thing was uh, you might be a nice girl, Judy, but you can't write, and wow. so get get out your handkerchief and cry. You have no idea what little children are like. So I got out my handkerchief, mm -hmm. then I cried, and then I said, eh, what does he know? Mm. <laughs> it wasn't a publisher, it wasn't an editor, it was somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who wrote books. Who is that person now so we never listen to them ever again about, about I'm, anything? I'm sure he's not living. <laughs> because this was, this was, I mean, this was like 50-something years ago, so. Absolutely. You know. But I'm still here. It, yes, that's right. That's right. I, I, I was told. How about you? How about you? Oh, I was told, um, I'm, I'm always told what I'm not able to do, but I don't listen, because one of the greatest things that I was ever told is better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Um, but one thing that I remember vividly was, uh, you know, my, my cousin, who's really like my aunt, because she was like my mom and dad's cousin, but she's like a cousin aunt. I'm, I'm from Mount's Corner, South Carolina, this country, right? <laughs> and um, she said to me one time, because I was just, you know, like 17, 18, talking about all these big dreams I had and things that I wanted to do, and she said to me, you know, you shouldn't put your, your goals so high, because if you don't reach them, you're gonna be, you know, disappointed. And I remember just thinking like, I should have kept it to myself, but my inside voice became my outside voice, and I was like, that's the stupidest <laughs> sugar honey iced tea I ever heard in my life. And she was like, no, you're gonna be disappointed because you got all of these big dreams. Look where you're from. You're from this small town in South Carolina. You'll never be, to, be able to achieve all those things. And uh, luckily, I didn't listen to her. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. <laughs> you know, my mother, my mother used to say to me, just be a good girl, Judy. Just be a good girl. But somehow, I don't know, I outgrew that. <laughs> I wonder what was, it, what was considered a good girl to her? A good girl was somebody who didn't give her any trouble. Okay. Right? And, you, and your books have caused good trouble? Um, yeah, they have caused trouble. Trouble? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was the first one. So there were two guy principles. Um, the first guy principal was the principal of my kids' elementary school. And uh, you know, I was really proud when Are You There got us me. Margaret was published, I was so proud. And I signed three books and I gave them to the school library. And the next thing I know, they were gone. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him and he said, those books are inappropriate for fifth and sixth grade girls. It's like, wait, fifth and sixth grade girls, some of them already have their periods. And he was like, no, no. <laughs> How would he know? <laughs> <laughs> and the next guy, principal, I'm sorry if any of you were men and your principals, but th this was a long time ago. Things have changed, I hope, except the books are still banned. Um, <laughs> but the next guy, principal, it was about Dini, and Dini touched her special place. Uh, I, I, she's the reason you know? I don't go into my daughter's room for any reason without oh, knocking. Oh. This right now. He's got four daughters, yes. he knows. That's right. That's and right. he said to me, if, if it was about a boy, it would be normal. <laughs> what? Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, you know, another thing people told me that I couldn't do, because my mother was an a, a English teacher, you know, she, she still teaches sometimes in, in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. And so she would always tell me to read uh, books that didn't pertain to me. And so we had the Book It program as well. I don't know if y'all remember the Book It program where you, you read four books and you get a, a, a free pizza. And so, you know, 
I don't just look like a Ninja Turtle. I, I used to really like pizza back then too. <laughs> and so like I would go in the library and look for books that don't necessarily pertain to me. And that's how I started reading so much Beverly Clearly and Miss Judy Bloom. And um, I remember people telling me I, I, I couldn't read those books because I was a, a, a young black male from, from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. And I'm like, it's great storytelling. You know, I, I like Judy Bloom the same, same way I like Jay-Z. Like, they're the same type of storyteller. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> like, a good storyteller is a great storyteller. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Any, uh, anything else? Well, there's more sex. <laughs> so I wrote forever. <laughs> there's always more sex. There's always more so sex, So I yes. wrote forever. Okay. And I was told, you cannot do this. You cannot let a, a young woman um, enjoy her sexuality. We're all you here because a young woman enjoyed their sex sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> and I live in Key West, which happens to be, even though we deny it, in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. That book is banned in the state of Florida. Wow. Because a young woman enjoys her sexuality. Wow. As the father of daughters, you, you don't want that to happen. Well, they're 15, you want them to. They're 15, 8, 5, and 2, so I don't want them uh. to join. <laughs> not, not, not at this moment. <laughs> Judy Bloom, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name of Charlemagne the God. Y'all have a great Charlemagne, night. Charlemagne, my friend Charlemagne. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Thanks.